Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and welcome to my channel, Kalinati. I realized that I am a bit overdue on checking in on my reading statistics and goals for this year, so that is what I'm sitting down to do today, hopefully in a very quick fashion. I have a bunch of numbers and not as much commentary as usual, uh, because honestly things have been going in a good direction with my reading and I don't have much that I want to change or I don't have much that I need to explain either. So let's get into it. Um, so in the first six months of this year, I read 131 works. 76 were books, 17 were novellas, and 39 were comics or manga. I don't really have a book goal for the year. I mean, I usually set my Goodreads at 150, and I think I have it bumped up to 200 right now, mostly because I use that just to gauge how quickly I've been reading things, but it's not really a goal. I do have a page goal this year. Um, I've been using the Story Graphs feature for this, and my page goal is 65,000 for the entire year, and at the end of June I was up to 33,000 roughly, so I am definitely on track for that one as well. Of those 131 works that I read, 37 were by male authors, 81 were by female authors, three were by both, and ten were by non-binary authors. And I do use the non-binary category to hold both non-binary and gender fluid and gender queer and all of that, just to simplify things a little bit. Um, I am actually very happy about this. Um, I didn't set out to intentionally read more books by non-binary authors this year, but the fact that I have read more than I ever have before um, makes me very happy. So yeah, I feel like I'm just naturally picking more of them up and I'm very happy about that. For genre, pretty much the same story as my first check-in this year. My most read genres so far are fantasy at 25%, science fiction at 23.6%, nonfiction is 13.7%, and romance is 10%. Um, fantasy is definitely pulling out into the lead a little bit, um, whereas in the past I've usually worked pretty hard at keeping science fiction as my most read genre, but that's just not where things are, are naturally falling out this year, and that's fine. Um, I've also read more nonfiction since the last update, which I'm happy about. Um, there's a whole bunch of other genres that I've read from as well, uh, but honestly at this point what I would really like to read more of is poetry. <laughs> poetry and drama. Um, I've had a lot of success in previous years at reading more poetry and kind of figuring out what I like and, and poets that I'll come back to again and again, and I just haven't done much of that this year, so I would like, I would like to seek out some more poetry to read in the second half of this year. Uh, for sources, also pretty much the same. 31% of what I read came from sources that I owned or I paid for. These are things like my book purchases, gifts, and my audiobook subscription. 31% isn't bad. I'm still definitely getting more things from the, from the library. So 67% of what I read came from free sources, which is the library, digital library collections, interlibrary loan, things like that. If I recall correctly, earlier in the year this sat closer to 25%, 75%, which is kind of what I would like to shoot for in the future if I ever like set myself a goal on this. Um, moving on, it's going to be a really good year for reading translated works. 15.3% <laughs> of what I've read has been translated, and this is up from 9.5% at the three-month mark. So I'm actually on track to have my best year ever for reading translated works. I think my, my record was 17 or 18% back in probably 2018, uh, so I'm very happy about this. On the other hand, my rereading has been going abysmally. 3% of what I've read so far this year have been rereads. <laughs> I'll talk about this more in a little bit when I get to the, the goal about that one. So yeah, speaking of goals, let's talk about these four reading goals. The first one was to track my book acquisitions and read them in a timely fashion. I've purchased 54 books so far this year, and I've only read 72% of them. My goal is 80% by the end of the year. I think it needs to be closer to 90%, honestly. So I'm, I'm trailing behind my actual goal on reading these in a more timely fashion, um, but it's not 
terrible yet. Um, mostly what happened is that I was doing a really good job until June and then I got a bunch of books in June and I just couldn't read them all right away, you know? Um, so my rate of acquisition has been a bit too fast for my actual reading rate. Um, I've also spent a little bit more on books by this point in the year than I thought I should have. I spent $787 on books so far this year. That doesn't include a couple of pre-orders that haven't actually arrived yet. But this is also isn't a terrible number. It wouldn't be a terrible number for the entire year, but the fact that I've already hit that almost 800 by halfway through the year. I'm not super happy with that. So I'm kind of challenging myself to just really massively slow down on book buying in like July and August and read some stuff that I own <laughs> before it gets completely out of hand, you know? So doing pretty well on that particular goal. My second goal is to make progress on two current reading projects. Lord, this has not gone the way that I thought it was going to. Um, I have read more and made more progress on my SF Masterworks project. Um, this is the one that I mostly neglected in 2020, and I thought that this year it would continue to be the one that I didn't put as much um, of my time into. But actually, it's been the reverse. I've been reading more SF Masterworks this year, and it's the otherwise award winners project that has been languishing instead. And I don't know what is up with that. Um, I've been stuck on perhaps one particular book, which is good. It's Rupetta. I started reading it in April or May. I've restarted it, haven't touched it in like a month and a half. And I don't know why my brain just won't let me finish that book. What I need to do is just request a whole bunch of the otherwise award winners from the library and start reading a few of them and just push on through this. Because I know once I start reading some of these, I'll be really into them. I just haven't. If you can hear that bird, there's a very loud bird sitting on my porch, twittering away. <laughs> so my third goal is to make a new reread list. What an absurdly vague goal. This is actually done. I did make a new list of books that I wanted to reread, things that I'm just going to tackle over the next five years or so. So that's done. Um, but I haven't been particularly inspired to talk about rereading in general and just get more into that into this particular topic. Um, so what I actually want to do is to challenge myself with this little mini goal of reading or rereading a couple of specific books um, before my next stats and goals check in. So I've got four books here that I want to reread over the next three months. One is, of course, A Memory Called Empire by Arkady Martin, because I want to go on to the sequel. Sequel. Then I have To Like the Lightning by Ada Palmer. I want to reread the first three books in this series eventually, so I'm prepared for the fourth book when it comes out in October. And it's going to take me a little while to get through these. I also want to reread The Thief by Megan Whalen Turner to kick off my reread of this entire series so that I can get to the final book. And then I want to reread. The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison, because I know I'm going to love it, but also I need to refresh my memory on who some of the characters are in preparation for going on to the companion novel that came out this year. So we'll see if I get to these four specific books. And then if I do, if I do succeed at that, I will make myself another little mini TBR for the remainder of the year. And my fourth and final reading goal was to read 40% books by authors of color. And I've also been doing pretty darn well at this one. I'm surprised, but I've also been checking in on it monthly for myself, like keeping track of it almost like week by week just to make sure that I'm not like really veering off in a direction I don't like. So the point of this goal is to diversify my reading and it has led me to read authors and genres and just particular works that I otherwise wouldn't have reached for, but I've just really been enjoying the, the challenge of this and exploring new things. So in my last check-in at three months, I had read 56% by white authors and 44% by authors of color, so slightly beating my goal of 40%. And you know what? I've maintained that. The numbers are still exactly the same, 56% and 44%. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. The one thing I would like to do uh, to just to further this is I would like to read more by Latinx and indigenous authors. Most of the books by authors of color I've been reading so far, they've been by black authors and Asian authors. And I feel like I could 
be diversifying this even more. But I don't actually have a lot of Latinx or indigenous authors on my TBR. I need to do some more research into that. And I certainly welcome your guys' recommendations as well. So that is it for me. I feel like I'm doing really well in terms of like how much I'm reading and how much I'm enjoying what I've been reading. That's been great. Um, I'm not in incredibly happy with a couple of my reading goals and progress, but that's mostly because I hate failing at my TBRs for my reading projects, but whatever. The world is not going to end if it takes me an extra year to get through the otherwise award winners, so just keep chipping away at it and having fun while I'm doing it. So yeah, that is pretty much it. If you have any thoughts or any of your own stories about your reading and your statistics that you want to share with me, leave comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. And as usual, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back to talk to you again soon. And until then, bye.